a read field value. So you can see that MySQL returned an empty result set. So now let's go ahead and search for um, Billy, for example. So Billy on the left hand side and then a wildcard for the rest of the content. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to uh, do that. Uh, click on go. And you can see it returns Billy Garrett. So you can see how we can chop and change this wildcard around in order to um, produce specific results from specific places um, and uh, use, well, basically using the wildcard. So now let's um, take this example of um, this. Now let's search for G and uh, our wildcard is on either side. So G can be contained anywhere in our, um, in our uh, field name. So let's click go. You can see it's returned Alex Garrett, Dale Garrett, and Billy Garrett, but it hasn't returned Alex Malcolm because Alex Malcolm doesn't contain a G anywhere in it. So if you were to create, say, a search feature in PHP, which we'll be doing a bit later on in the tutorial, and you were to be um, you were to be searching for um, a name, you would probably use the wildcard on either side because if the user was to search for Alex, for example, and they were to click go, you could see that they're produced with all results that the first name is Alex or Alex is found anywhere in this string. Now if they were to um, search for say Alex Garrett on its own then they'll automatically be, re be returned with the value that equals Alex Garrett because the wildcard is on either side leaving the middle content as the result found. So now we can also do um, we can also say where it where not like so where not like uh, G um, as we explain, as I explained before, the only result the, with a wild card on either side and G that wasn't returned was Alex Malcolm. So this essentially reverses our condition. So if we click go, we're was uh, we're given the result Alex Malcolm. Okay, so that's uh, using the not keyword uh, with the like or the not operator with the like condition. What we can also do is we can say like and we can specify an underscore. So like I said before, we could say where um, like equals Alex and then we could say G underscore A-R-R-E-T, T-T. Sorry, no, uh, there. So wherever um, like is this and then we fill in somewhere with the G. Uh, so let's click, go and click go copy and paste this in first the clipboard and you can see we've returned Alex Garrett so we can see that we can either search using a wildcard on either side or we can use the underscore uh, to specify exactly the character uh, or the amount of characters so we could we can double up this uh, we can double or triple up this uh, um, underscore so we could say that as well let's click go you can see that that's also returned Alex Garrett. So you can use um, a, an underscore to search for a specific character um, as well. So now let's put this into practice. We want to, uh, inside PHP, create a small uh, search engine, if you like, that's gonna search these names. So what our user is gonna do is he, uh, they're gonna be um, presented with a, a text area, or a text box rather, an input field where they can input a name and then they can uh, then they can be returned the results based on what they've typed in. So let's go ahead and connect to our database first of all. We have this connect.ink.php which we've used in previous examples. So let's go ahead and require that into our code. Okay, so let's double check that everything is working by refreshing. We've connected to our database successfully. Now let's come down and uh, before we actually start on the PHP code, we'll create the form. So form action equals and method equals something. So the method is post and the action, we're going back to index.php. So it's basic form submission. If you don't already know how to do this, then there are tutorials on it uh, from myself and other people. So we want a uh, name and then we're specify uh, we're giving the user an area to type in a name. So the text, uh, the input type is text and the name we're going to say um, search underscore name. Uh, let's also give them a submit button that they can press when they when they're finished. So uh, value equals, and uh, we could say search in this case, I guess. Okay, so uh, now what we need to do is pick this uh, value up from PHP. So let's just double check that everything works. We've got our name. We've got a text area here where we can type a name to search. We can click search, and that submits straight back to index.php. So let's go ahead and check if the form has been submitted first of all, then we're going to check whether the search name field is empty or not, and then after that we're going to actually process our query uh, inside of our database.